what I want to talk about in this video is just dealing with anxiety in your 20s and why you're going you're dealing with anxiety um I've never had I don't think I've ever experienced anxiety like this ever before in life and um I think it's just like everything combines like living alone and having these responsibilities and also certain changes um that are pretty recent it just makes me very like unstable in a way and I'm the one that's like like really really like into having a routine and everything like really set and um consistent and I really find like solace and joy and not joy per se but like um stability and um structure in having a routine and like you know, I know like everything is going to happen like exactly the way it is and I'm in control. And the fact that like things have happened out of my control just like gives me a, lo a lot of anxiety and um, learning to deal with that for the first time like intensely. And it's very uncomfortable, but at the same time, I am learning a lot about myself and I can feel myself you know, becoming stronger as a person with the fact that, like, I can talk about it and vocalize about these feelings without, like, completely destroying myself and, like, just get into my dark hole of, like, overthinking and, like, self-hatred, which um, um, I definitely have had before when I was younger. But I think I've done enough self-work to realize that, like, I just need to you know, regroup and get my thoughts together. But I think for me, like, how I deal with anxiety is to really ask myself why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling and try to get out of my head, even though I know it's easier said than done. Um, I find that, like, going to the gym helps or um, just you know, doing things that bring me joy. So like filming, editing, or, you know, music, or, you know, going for a walk or going out with friends or um, just like talk to somebody that you can trust. I think like the little things like that can really, really help with anxiety. And just, I don't know, like I, that said, like I'm so, so grateful for... <laughs> everything that I have in my position and I am in no way discrediting like anything in my life and I just uh, this is just like how I'm feeling right now and the only way to make me feel better is to get my thoughts out by talking about it and um I know that I'm not alone and I know that a lot of people are going through the same thing and so yeah let this be a reminder that like this is completely normal and you're gonna get through it and, you know, you had good days and you have bad days. So that's just life. And um, that's so cheesy. <laughs> Anyways, on a lighter note, I guess not lighter, but like on a different note, um, I also want to talk about relationships in your 20s and my experience with dating or more specifically online dating in your 20s because it's a huge topic um, uh, for everyone and especially when you're in your 20s that's like literally like the one of the biggest things that you know you can be um experiencing so I don't know I think dating I've never I think my first like official boyfriend was like when I was 18 when I started college and before that I've had like crushes in school and stuff but nothing like serious serious and um I wasn't even that boy crazy and it's just like I was more reserved and like quiet and shy and I mean there weren't like anybody in my class that I particularly liked so um I think when I got to college that's when I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna be experiencing this and I'm gonna go all in and let's just see how it goes so um I would say um my experience with online dating, so like using like dating apps and stuff, has been quite a roller coaster and quite the experience. Um, 
you know, there there's there's been some questionable people, um, but you know, they're all very very uh, interesting in their own ways, and they each taught me a lot. So, I guess I know why a lot of people are like scared of dating apps or like hesitant to like get on dating apps and like meet new people through dating apps because I mean they're pretty in- they can be pretty intimidating to like get into and like start with when I feel like the whole concept of like dating apps to me to this point is still like so funny because like you're literally just judging people or like choosing people based on their appearances and that's just like really superficial and just I don't know surface level which it is to, to an extent but I mean that's just the whole like concept of it and um I guess, you know, if you're, like, an introvert like me and I can't, like, you can't really, like, you're not that comfortable, like, talking to people in real life or, like, going to events or, like, meet people organically, dating apps are, are, you know, can be pretty helpful in terms of, like, you know, helping you meet new people and stuff like that. Um, And, you know, just to get, like, dating experience, I guess, because I know a lot of people, like, don't have a dating experience and like to kind of dip your toes into the water and to like meet new people so that you can gain a dating experience and like dating apps are a great place to start um but I do like ha- I do have a certain type of way you know feel a, t- a type of way I do feel a certain type of way about dating apps and um Okay, that's, like, that's not me, like, just, like, dishing on dating apps or anything, but, I mean, like, most of the people that I've dated are, like, through dating apps, like, Tinder or Bumble or Hinge, so, (laughs) um, so, I'm all for dating apps, I think, just, like, be careful and, um, just be mindful of, like, the people that you can meet on dating apps and just, obviously, just be, um, yeah, careful of, like, you do meet them and, you know, you just, I mean, because there are some quite creepy people on there, right? And you want to make sure that, you know, that you're safe. And so I would say I've met, okay, the amount of dates I've gone on through dating apps is, like, kind of um, uncountable at this point. Um, ever since I was 18, I think I've only, like, seen people through dating apps, except, like, a few that I met, like, in college but they're all just through dating apps and um okay it can be a great way because you can meet people with like similar interests as you and hobbies and um like you can connect pretty quite easily without the you know pressure of like you know meeting them in real life and um it really just eliminates the factor of like you gotta meet somebody and talk to them um in person um, while you don't know them, but, like, you can have the small talk while you're in the dating apps or whatever, right? And it can, like, escalate quite quickly. So, um, in that regard, I think that's fine, but, um, you really don't know. Like, you really don't know, because, I mean, you never know when you meet somebody online. Like, they can be completely different in person, so yeah I've met some questionable people and there's one guy that I talked to on a dating app and he looked nothing like he did in real life so I was like holy crap did I just did I just get catfished and that was like um pretty traumatizing and okay granted um they all were very very um educational in a way you know because the types of people like are on there they really really just like taught you so much about yourself like if anything like you just learn more about yourself by going on dates with different people it's like you just know like the type of partner that you're looking for or what kind of traits or that what kind of traits or like um personality types that you're attracted to and how you kind of like um talk to like a potential like romantic uh partner i don't know but i think the first step to like gaining dating experience is just going on dates like as like 
literally straightforward as that sounds um but like just putting yourself out there and like not be afraid to like be open to meeting new people and talk to new people and not see that as like shallow or like close-minded but more like um like you're just like gaining this new experience and that is really interesting and like I, I think just meeting different people and like listening to their life stories is really interesting and you always learn so much like if anything like you always learn something you know gain something out of um like going on dates so uh you know what uh do we want to talk about my uh, love life here because dude I think I've been scarred a few times <laughs> uh, during my whole dating sort of situation. And um, I've had uh, some toxic people, you know, in my life. And I think because I was so young, like, um, and I didn't have much dating experience or like just like didn't know myself that well. I think I just sort of didn't know how I would react in a romantic situation and sort of let them just like trample over me or like just, I didn't love myself. Like that was the issue. It's like, I didn't know myself. I didn't love myself. And I, I hoped that I would find that in somebody else. And that was like literally the perspective that I had when I first started dating. And, um, I was very, very, like, insecure as well. So everything that, every relationship that I had during that period was very toxic. And I felt very alone and, like, more and more insecure about myself. And just, like, it wasn't good. Like, those relationships were not good in any way. Um, but like looking back on them now, I've grown so much and like those, it's, it's really given me a lot of perspective. It's only like after you've experienced it, like, can you like literally, um, see it more clearly for what it was. And like at the time it was like, oh, I was supposed to go, I was supposed to be going through that because I was so fucking young and I didn't know anything. And so I really, you really have to like go through that like at least once or twice in your life to be able to like grow and like learn and like level up you know because if you never had like heartbreak or you never dated and like you're just gonna be like a rookie your whole life like you're never gonna be like comfortable dating and like once you meet somebody like that's like that's like good for you like you wouldn't even know that that's the right person for you because you've never dated before and you don't know how to handle it and like that was me like I I could have met like, I could have been um, a better partner even, like, had I, you know, learned how to deal in certain situations better or, like, learned to love myself better. But, yeah, I think just with time and experience, like, you really do attract the right people because you can only be ready to, I guess, get in a relationship when you are ready yourself as in you've worked on yourself um you've learned to love yourself just for yourself or who you are without anybody's validation and that's when you will meet somebody that's right for you and you will have a healthy relationship um which before I didn't I didn't have that and only recently like this year um I'm was fortunate enough to, you know, have started a very loving and healthy relationship. And I'm very grateful for that. But I, it, it also happened because I've worked on myself. Um, and I knew my worth, I know my worth and I attract the people who can see that. And they've also worked on themselves and know their self-worth. And so just, I think dating is just something that you have to do. It's like, think of it as like going to school. It's like, you got to do it once in order to like know what it is and what it feels like. And then you got to like repeat and repeat it to like improve and like 
level up and get better. It's like a game. I know it sounds so bad, but it's like dating is kind of like a game sometimes, you know? It's like you're like trying to meet the right person, but you also like don't know what you're looking for at first. And then like you really have to go through like a lot of cards. You got to like, you know, meet a few people to like know what you want. And that's okay because... I mean, like, good things take time. Like, it's never the first person that you meet that's going to be, like, you know, your love, the love of your life, you know, forever. So I think dating is a very, um, it can be a very fulfilling experience, and it's a very beautiful thing um, with the right person. And even if it's not the right person, like, you will always learn something from it. So I would say, like, don't be afraid to, like, use dating apps or like just be open to that and I don't put yourself out there because I mean in your 20s like you want to like have fun too right like you're not 30 like you don't have a house and uh family and kids and responsibilities so might as well like have fun and like you know date around and experience because Dude, I have had my moments, okay, in my 20s. And uh, those were questionable uh, decisions that I made. Um, But looking back on them, they're, like, fun. Because at the time, like, I just wanted to have fun and let loose. And that's okay. And now I don't think that I would make the same choices. But, um, you know, everybody... You got to go through that phase, you know? You got to go through your whole phase, right? (laughs) Anyways, I'm way past that phase right now. Like, right now, I'm literally, I feel like I just want to settle and, like, just be with my person and um, have a dog. And that's it. And that sounds so perfect right now. I could cry. (laughs) Um, Anyways, I think... Yeah, relationships are messy, and it's only when... You have worked on your shit and you know your shit that you can truly have a long lasting and healthy relationship. And even then, like, who knows? So, I don't know. I think relationships are very subjective and I'm only speaking from my personal experience. So, please don't come for me, okay? I'm just sharing my story and what I've learned. So, dude, it literally take me like two years to get over this dude that we weren't even a thing like we weren't even like together officially officially but it was like a situation ship and it was really fucking toxic and I was so depressed and I was like hang I was like really always be constantly thinking about this dude and like I it was not a healthy place for me to be in and it really really just like affected so many areas of my life and like it took me a while to get over that. And um, now I am stronger than ever, baby. But looking back on it now, I just realized how much I was like manipulated and like strung along and not taken seriously and not valued and just ignored and not heard and just dismissed all the time. And Bitch, like, who do you think you are, okay? (sighs) Anyways, that was just young, naive Rachel, like, didn't know what to do with herself. I guess the lesson or the takeaway is that, I mean, you can date whoever you want. And, like, you can can use dating apps. You don't have to use dating apps. But, like, I'm just saying, like, if you want to meet new people, like, that can be a good place to start. Or if you don't want to, that's fine, too. And it's okay if you've never dated ever in your life like that's totally fine I think everybody has their own timeline and everybody has their own like personality and how they feel about like dating people and like maybe some people don't want to date like they just want to like meet you know the right person and then just be with them for the rest of their lives and that's okay but like I'm just saying like the the chances of like that happening like the first time you meet somebody is like very low and I think the whole I guess the whole point of dating is just to learn just to get to know yourself better I think going on dates really it just means like it means like getting to know yourself better or, you know, getting to know your values, I guess, because it really just 
like you can see yourself when you talk to other people and you can like literally see your values like and like vocalize about it and it helps you realize so much shit and like it like literally was like eye-opening for me you know it was almost spiritual like it was crazy the whole like dating experience for me right so yeah be open to meeting new people um be open to dating apps and work on yourself i think you can like have fun and stuff but don't think that you can just have a healthy relationship if you've not like done work on yourself no that sounds so wrong if you've not like had you've not like had time to like work on yourself as in like self-love self-care and like really be okay and independent by yourself first um then then you will meet the right person like attract what you give out to the world i think so if you know your worth and you know that you love yourself you know you're a good person you know your values then you everybody will see that and they will be attracted to that and the right people will come along okay um yeah, I think that's my little rant on relationships. Um, that's it, I guess. Um, I'm still working on myself when I'm in the relationship, and it's never it's a never ending process. Like you will always have to like learn to love yourself and love your partner, and you know, like going like going through problems and overcoming obstacles um, by yourself or together, and it's all part of the the whole learning process and you know and like being in love is such a beautiful thing but like to you know be but being in love with yourself or like just like loving yourself i think is key to everything else which i know sounds so cheesy but it's so true you know and that is the truest thing that i could say ever so with that, I'm going to leave you because uh, that was so, so rambly. And I hope this makes sense. And I hope that you enjoyed this. And like, I hope that uh, this can help some of you. Okay. I love you. And uh, I'm going to go drink some water because my mouth is so dry and I am very dehydrated. So peace out. Bye.